Hello, I'm Ross. I work at Rive. By now, you're probably familiar with data binding. Here I have my view model with my number property. We're converting that number property to a string and then controlling this textron with it. So when I press play, it's zero, and I can control the number property and the textron updates. As you know, data binding allows you to control these view model properties at runtime in the code. What this means is you can take external data from APIs or user information and control your view model properties with that information. However, what if you don't want to do that? What if you just want to animate this number? Well, that's where property groups come in. Just going to tap here and then I'll set my property group over here. And in its settings, you can see it has a position, but we're not going to mess with that. Up here, we can create either a number, string, or Boolean. I'm going to create a number. And it's this number that I can animate in a timeline. So I'm going to open my timeline, set it to uh, ping pong, and I can set a keyframe for this number property. Set another one at the end of 100. And then when I press play, it's animating between the two numbers. And I can use this number property to control my view model number property. How do I do this? Well, I just right click, data bind, and select our view model number property and target to source. This means that we are taking this number and controlling this property with it. So if I open my state machine and press play, this number is controlling this number property and this number property is controlling the text.